have this dream. Or maybe it's a nightmare. Where I'm walking all alone in the middle of the night. And suddenly, I get this uneasy feeling. Like something's not right. I search around for anybody, for anything, but there's nothing there. And then, all of a sudden, I freeze up. And then I feel something, someone walking up behind me, but I can't turn around. Or maybe I don't want to. And as this thing gets closer and closer to me, I feel like I can no longer ignore it. So I force myself to look. Right as I'm about to turn around and see what it is, I wake up. I have that dream almost every night now. Who knows what it means? Probably nothing. The reality of my situation is, this is my last day. The last day I'll ever watch myself take a piss, or look at my girlfriend, or see her face when I fuck her. Not because I'm dying, although that might as well be the case. No, this is much stranger. I'm losing my sight. And by the end of the day, I'll be blind. This all started when I was in high school. One day I woke up and I saw the world differently. Every time I closed my eyes or blinked, I saw the world in a new way. One second in color, the next in black and white, and the next in neon or some weird shit. This condition is starting to affect a lot of people, mostly kids like me. Lately, my vision has started to dim, so I visited the doctor. Apparently, my condition has put such stress on my eyes that it is causing me to go blind. He said that I had a month left to see. Cheerful stuff, right? Well, that was one month ago from today, and it appears the doctor was right. My vision is rapidly declining. At this rate, by midnight tonight, I won't be able to see a damn thing. And as people have a tendency to do when something is ending, I've been reflecting on my life over these past few days, and I don't like who I've become. class. Okay. Well, hurry back soon, okay? I want to spend tonight together, just the two of us. I'll be here. Stan. 
How you doing? The fuck is up, man? How's your last day thing going? Pretty boring, I guess. Yeah. It's like that sometimes, you know? You all right, man? Yeah. I'm just hot. So what's your plans for tonight? Spending the night with Laura. Fuck that, man. What are you talking about? Well, look, you know, you spend more time with Laura than me. And I understand that. She fucks you. I don't. I get it. You know. But it's your last day, man. It's your last day. And... You know, that's it. After that, you're done. It's time to blow this shit out. I can't. I gotta spend a night with Laura. No offense, dude, but fuck Laura. Okay? Like, how many times have you been in your room watching, like, American Idol, and you just kind of wish that you were anywhere else? And, you know, work? Bunch. Cool, so let's be somewhere else. Let's do something different. Yeah, but how many times were I blowing her off to come hang out with you? All right, well, point taken. But, you know, this is your last chance. Like, it's... Come out, man. Fuck it. I'm not gonna sit in my apartment tonight. I deserve one more night just for me. Goddamn right you do. Buddy, let's go get fucked up. Best decision you've made all day. Joseph, I was really worried. I'm sorry. I guess I didn't hear it. <laughs> Couldn't hear it. A bunch of shit. Leave me alone. How could you do this? Tonight was supposed to be special. We were supposed to spend it together. How can you be so selfish? Please don't smoke in here. Joseph. Fuck it. Just open the patio door. Why do you always do this? Why do you push me away? You make it so hard for me to love you. I don't think I can see you anymore. I'm the one that's going fucking blind. And you don't think you can see me? Fuck you, Laura. I'm sorry, I...
Look, I'm don't, sorry. Don't, don't, Jason. Don't say you're sorry. You're just selfish. I'm just scared, Laura. That's why I had to go out tonight. I had to get away from all of this, at least for one night. And all I can think of is never being able to see you again. It's driving me crazy. That's bullshit. Were you scared all those other times you ditched me? Or is it really just because you're a selfish, lazy asshole? You push people away, Joseph. And as much as I hate it, I really am leaving you. And for once, I hope you are scared. Because if you keep acting like this, you're going to wake up one day and realize you're all You'd leave me. Even with everything I'm going through? You aren't ready for a relationship. The only person you know how to care about is yourself. And maybe once your privileged ass has no one left to turn to, you'll see how pathetic you really are. Nothing. 